For more on this breaking news story, we're joined now by I24 News UK correspondent Jonathan Sashadotti. Jonathan, thank you so much for your time. First, try to break down for us what more do we know about this tragic incident at this hour. Around midday local time, there were the calls made to emergency services because Sir David Amos MP had been stabbed multiple times at his constituency surgery. He was 69 years old and he'd been a member of parliament since 1983, so a very long-standing member of parliament. Uh, but the constituency surgery is a time when MPs are perhaps most at risk because it's when they meet members of their constituency. Here in the UK, every member of parliament represents a specific area. And so when people within that area need something brought to the attention of their MP, they can book a slot and come to meet them and these sorts of events. Uh, and that, of course, opens them up to meeting members of the public. Sometimes those people can be very angry because of their own particular life circumstances, or sometimes they can be violent extremists. We don't yet know much more about the man who has been arrested uh, for stabbing Sir David Amos, but we do know that tragically, three hours after the call was made to emergency services, he did die. The air ambulance had arrived and tried to treat him uh, on the spot in the location where it all took place. But the news came out eventually uh, that this family man, a long-term conservative member of parliament, had died. And Jonathan, as you mentioned, this is, of course, not the first time uh, such attack on a British uh, lawmaker is uh, taking place in recent years. Uh, has there been any uh, intelligence, any information about uh, the uh, possibility of such attack? Uh, was there anything else that police could have done to prevent this? As far as we know so far from what's been released, uh, there was no warning that this might have happened. Often in these cases, uh, we will find out that a suspect may have been somebody on the radar of police. Uh, we don't know if that's the case at the moment. But over the last couple of decades, there have indeed been similar cases of MPs being attacked during their constituency surgeries. There was the murder of Labour MP Joe Cox in 2016. Uh, there was Stephen Timms, who was stabbed in 2010 by a 21-year-old woman who was convicted of his attempt to murder. And Nigel Jones, a Liberal Democrat MP, was also attacked in 2000 with a Japanese sword. His assistant was killed in that attack and he was injured requiring 57 stitches to close the wounds in his hands. So it's not the first time this has happened and that's why there will be more questions asked about security for members of parliament, particularly in their constituency surgeries when they are open to attacks from members of the public. Uh, so whether or not there'll be a toughening of the security for them or not remains to be seen. And it's a controversial issue because this is one of the bedrocks of British democracy, the idea that you can go and meet your own MP and lobby them to help you on your own particular circumstances. It's something that many MPs hold dear, and it means that they can go back to Parliament and make your case. Indeed, this MP was known for championing, championing his causes and the causes of those in his constituency. He's written himself in his recent book about the Titan security after the death of Joe Cox in relatively tragically similar circumstances. So as yet, uh, more is being released by police as it comes out and we'll be looking, I'm sure, at these questions about security going forwards. Jonathan, we certainly hope the lessons will be learned uh, this time. UK correspondent Jonathan Sashadotti keeping us up to date with the latest. Thank you so much.